A society, a state, a community needs history, because history is, in a sense, the embodiment of its memory. Someone without memory would not be truly human. And a society, a state, a community without history wouldn't deserve these names. That's the fundamental point. I come from Poland, Upper Silesia, from Bonn, from Beijing. I'm from Cameroon, from Koblenz. München Gladbach, not far from here. I came to Bonn because at the time, psychology had some excellent people here. I first had a little look around and also visited Göttingen and Hamburg. What particularly impressed me was the palace, the main building over here. I somehow felt at home and my first impressions then proved to be right. I'm studying human medicine, politics. I'm taking French philology, English, medieval and modern history and Spanish. I'm reading economics in my second semester. Yes, it's fun. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it. I want to make it my career. The University of Bonn has very strong specializations in the humanities with philosophy or the philologies, but especially in economics with its mathematical orientation, physics and mathematics. The standard in these subjects is simply world class. That's part of Bonn's attraction. Sometimes I'm asked where I get my best ideas from. As an academic, you're constantly engaged in scientific inquiries. You never stop thinking about them. So it's not usually at all clear just when you have your brain waves. They're suddenly just there. One idea came to me in a dream. Im Traum. My subject is paleontology. It deals with the development of organisms in the Earth's history. We can find out, for example, how the climate changed in earlier millennia. One way is to drill down into the bottom of lakes to extract fossilized pollen, which was laid down in thin strata over the years. The pollen helps us to reconstruct earlier vegetation as well as climate patterns in the geological past. I majored in psychology, but I really loved my subsidiary subjects, philosophy and musicology. Economics is very demanding in Bonn. I opted for courses with a strong business administration orientation. I began by studying law because I wanted to become a diplomat. But after taking classes for a while in America, I realized that it wasn't really for me. But I carried on without knowing what I wanted. My only goal was to pass the exam one day. For molecular life sciences and medicine, 
the decoding of complex processes occurring in the body, cells and organs will be one of the biggest challenges in the next decade. If we want early diagnosis and treatments of illnesses like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's or diabetes, we have to find out through basic research how these diseases arise. The key to the really exciting developments in science is now interdisciplinary work. I'm an immunologist, so in my projects I collaborate with chemists and medical specialists. I'm often surprised how these colleagues focus on things I didn't think were so important. In all three subjects, I learned to see things with open eyes and a critical gaze, and I learned to be curious. There was both strong pressure and encouragement to develop a critical mindset. What I like best about my profession is working with young people, seeing them develop from students who come to us in their early 20s and then finish with their dissertation in their mid or late 20s. Pharmaceutical biology is concerned with identifying biogenic drugs. We obtain our organisms from diving expeditions in various parts of the world. At the moment we are running an EU-funded project that is exploring the cancer-inhibiting properties of substances found in algae. I've learned to focus on the essentials of a situation, especially in moments like in a crisis where everything goes haywire. Perhaps that's something I learned here when I was reading law. You have to ask, what is the essential point? In criminal law, you have to ask, what's the essential question in this case? Or with a text, you ask, what's the essential word here? Numerical simulation is a relatively new field in the natural sciences. Its development is closely intertwined with the advances of modern computers. Numerical simulation involves the design, the implementation and the testing of rapid approximation and solution methods for mathematical models. The aim is to replicate reality in a sort of virtual laboratory. As for the relationship between teaching and research, I'm convinced that at least in my field of mathematics, namely numerical simulation, without sufficient teaching, the research can only be half as worthwhile. Even in my work today as a politician, I still benefit from having learnt to think in terms of models, formal models. The enthusiasm and optimism at the university involves a willingness to communicate and work together. People are looking for shared interests, solving problems together, taking a common approach to research projects. Students become involved at a very early stage in research activities. When preparing for their finals, they already play a clear role in research projects. From a relatively young age, students are brought into the research process through the teaching. This necessarily and fortunately helps them to develop autonomy, self-reliance, independent thinking. I'd say this is an advantage of a research university like ours. Bonn not only shows excellence in a few individual subjects, but is performing international-level research in very many areas.